If you have a low end PC and you are getting low FPS, so guys, stories in this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your CPU and fix the high CPU usage and bottom lacking of your processor for your PC while you're gaming. So, guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and with this single time, let's dive straight into over this video. Gear the Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connections. So guys get the paid program free from the link in the description and play your game with lower ping. So guys in the very first step the main reason you are getting the high CPU usage that is the bad power throttling settings. So guys for that you need to press windows R together from your keyboard and you will find out here this kind of the one window. Let's so simply type here gpedit.msc and hit ok. Once you go to this window, go for computer configuration, administrative template, now go for system folder and there you will find our power management folder. So scroll down until you find power management. So guys, here we got our power management folder. So go inside it. Now there you will find out this power throttling settings. Open up this folder, inside you will find a ton of power throttling. Double tap here. Now you need to enable the settings on your PC and this will turn off the power throttling on your Windows 10 or 11 or whatever you are using. After that hit apply, click OK and close out this window. A lot of people also guys tell me in the comment section they not find out the gpedit.msc. So you can simply go into the search bar of your windows and search for local group policy editor and there you will find out edit group policy. So open up the settings and from there you can change here the settings. So guys on the next step we are going to optimize our windows power plan settings. That is also another reason of the high CPU usage and bottom lacking of your processor. So go for your window search, search for power and there you will find out, choose a power plan. So open up these settings, now once you go to this window, you need to go for this change plan settings or select out here the highest performance power plan from here. Now open up change plan settings, now you need to go for the change advanced power settings and here you will find out this hardware settings. Now you need to go for this hardware settings and simply change here this value on to 0 minutes. After that scroll down, go for processor power management and click on this expand button. Now here you will find out processor, performance core, parking, minimum core, this is the new settings introduced by the window. So guys simply go for it and now you need to set the settings onto the zero. After that now go for maximum processor frequency, go for it, set it on zero megahertz, minimum processor state set it on 100%, maximum processor state set it on also 100%. After that hit apply, click ok and save the settings in the power plane. I close out this window. Now in the next step guys, you need to download this quick CPU application on your PC for the optimization and for doing the best settings of your CPU. So guys, simply scroll all the way down, you can check it out here, all the features of this application. So please scroll all the way down and there you will find out here this download button. So click on the download quick CPU x 64 bit according to your operating system. So guys, once you have downloaded the quick CPU on your PC, here you will find out this kind of the zip file and here is the exe file you will get out of this pack. Now simply double tap here and install the software on your PC, click next, click I accept, click next and install the software on your PC. So guys after installation here you will find out this kind of the interface of the quick CPU and guys in the very first step here you will find out this kind of the power plan for the performance. Now here you will find out the minimum performance, the normal, the balanced one and here is the high performance power plan. You will find out CPU will be set to the maximum performance so click on the accept and set this power plan on your PC. Now hit ok, once you're done now you need to go for the next step that is your power data settings. So you need to go for this power plan option and set it on quick CPU scheme. Now next go for power mode, click on the drop down and also set it on maximum performance overall. Once you set up all the settings on your PC, now here you will find your CPU data, your CPU sensors and please skip all these uh, tabs from your PC. Now you need to go for the score parking tab and make sure to guys set core parking on 100%, frequency scaling on 100%. And turbo boost also onto the 100%. After that, now you need to go for parking and efficiency core policy, performance set it on AC. Make sure to guys enable the settings on your PC. After that, here you will find the performance tab. Make sure to guys set it on 100%. After that, click on the apply button and apply these changes in your quick CPU application. Now after that, now click on this close button and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC. Now once you follow all the settings on your PC, now in the next step we are going to disable the high precision event timer that is also causing the high CPU usage. So guys, for that, simply right click on your Windows Start icon and open up your device manager. Here you will find out all the devices of your PC. Now you need to go straight to where your system devices option. Click on this drop down and there you will find out high precision event timer. So guys, simply right click here and click on to disable this device. 
hit yes and disable this hypothetical event timer on your PC. This works for most of people. If this will cause FPS drops and stress or any kind of trouble on your PC, you can guys simply re enable the settings on your PC by simply right click here and click on the enable device option and enable it on your PC again. Now close out your device manager. Now you need one time reach your PC, therefore, all the changes take effect. After that, launch your favorite game and enjoy the best performance out of your CPU without having any kind of the bottom lagging or lag. I hope you love it. Please make sure to let me know in the comment section. So see you again in the next video.